The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the October 20th, the fantastic Friday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this, during this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone, dial on in at 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question but you can't call in, you can always send me an email. Send that off to steve at tfn.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tiger Stand, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, we got most of the U.S. indices trading to the downside. The one that is not as a transport, so they're basically flat, up three points. The Dow's down 132, S&P's off 35, NASDAQ 100, 173, Russell's down 12, semis are off 35. Gold's up 24 bucks, silver's up 79 cents, slightly crude up 85 pennies, natural gas off a nickel, 30 year treasury up 24 ticks, trading out at 108.19. The leaders out there in the clubhouse to the upside, dollar wise, is MicroStrategy, $8.50, Equinox 489, Auto Live up 460. WD-40, put a little grease on the uh, squeaky wheels, up about five bucks, and Night Swift Trans something or another is up five bucks and change. So the downside is Solar Edge, up 33 bucks, Mercado Libre, 27, Service Now 19, HubSpot 17, Adobe's down 17, Enphase Energy's off 17, Super Micro down 15. We've got some movers, but we mostly have some shakers. So what do you want to look at out here? Why don't we go take a look at what's going on inside the equity future contracts out here? Let's start with um, let's start with the NQ. So we had a crust uh, inside the Tiger's end for Peter. Take a look at the ES and the NQ. Let's go ahead and knock those out of the way first. We're going to go ahead and change panels out here. So if you give me a moment, we'll get over to our white background screens. We'll get a feel of what's going on right now uh, for the uh, monthly, the daily, the weekly, and all the other intraday time periods. We take a look at the monthly chart. Um, the only thing I would say is that if we close below last month's low, that would be a bearish sign. Last month's low out there is 14,586. Of course, we close below 14,586. What we're going to do is we're going to negate the, D, the daily TD9 count bottom pattern out there. So that's the low of the swing point from September the 27th out there. Now, in the case of the daily time frame, we'll just simply expand out the chart. And we can see here that price is approaching the bottom of its profile. The bottom of that profile is at the 14,677 level. If we close below that, we're likely to go test that swing low that formed that TD9 count bottom. Again, that was at the uh, 14,586 level. Yeah, 14,586. We close below that. You know, we don't necessarily have to close below that in order to generate an A to B equals CD pen. If we close below that, that tells us lower price. And what that would do is then kick in this weekly A to B equals CD. So on the weekly charts out here, let's take a look at those. you got a nice TD9 count and Rhodes momentum indicator top up there. That top, which is here in the July time frame, lines up with the uh, pre-election year cycle pattern out there. So I'm just saying. Now, with regard to an A to B equals CD pattern out there, the actual B point of this pattern, we're already trading below that right now. That's the low of the trading week in August. Um, let me get my cursor bar thing. That's the week of August the 18th. 
That low out there is actually 1,472.75. So if we close below 1,472.75, that will trigger an A to B equals CD to the downside. But the reason that we're really looking at the 14,586 level is because that's a daily TD9 count bottom. So that's really a level that the NQ needs to uh, close below to truly trigger that weekly A to B equals CD to the downside. Now, if we take a look at what's going on in the intermediate term time frame, the shortest term time frame I've got up here right now, Peter, 30 minutes. No bottom signal. It would require a bullish reversal candle to accomplish that. That would be a Roachman indicator signal. No such signal on the 60-minute time frame other than possibly a bullish reversal candle to confirm it by the D-point pattern. The same would be true in the 120-minute chart. So we see no bottom here. We see no bottom on the 240. The five-hour chart is negated a or is negating the process of negating a TD9 count pattern out there. So it's looking like the question really comes is the are the buyers located at the bottom of that uh, profile, the daily equity future contract, are they going to be able to hold price? 14,676 again or 14,677 uh, is the uh, number to be watching there. Let's go take a look at what's going on inside the ES Mini. So the only support really that we've got inside the NQ is going to be that profile support on the daily time frame. And we've seen how profile support and profile resistance can work. So you certainly want to be able to respect that, or you should at least respect that. When it comes to the ES Mini, the ES Mini has a buy the D point pattern that on the weekly basis, the buy the D point pattern on the weekly basis, let me just expand out the chart here. You'll see it was a nice big old hammer candle that it formed to confirm that pattern. Now, each of you know, or you're familiar with the expression, if you close below the low of a bottom, the low, if you close below the bottom of a hammer candle, the expression is if you're long, you're wrong. So what's that number? That number from the week of October 6 is down at that 42.35.50 level. Now, there is some additional support inside the ES Mini below that, and that's at 41.94.75. So I would say, well, first of all, th that's the real level that price needs to close below to tell us that we're getting ready to ramp again to the uh, downside out there. So the ES Mini still has that uh, weekly buy the D point pattern. The daily has a buy the D point pattern as well. Uh, the ES Mini has some support. Now, the support level on my Ninja Trader charts different than the support level on the uh, black background, the e-signal charts. Here, you've got profile support at 42.55. We're at 42.64 right now. So just like the NQ has got profile support that price is approaching, so too does the ES Mini. It doesn't look like that when we look at my black background charts, but that's not what we're looking at right now. So I'd say if price closes below that 42.55 level, then we're likely headed to that 42.35.50 area. And that's that bottom of the uh, weekly or daily um, by the D point pattern. Intraday, you need a bullish reversal candle on a 30 minute chart to generate a Rhodes momentum indicator signal, no bottom uh, signal on a 60 minute. You're negating TD9 counts on the two hour time frame chart, on the four hour time frame chart, on the five hour time frame chart. So there, things are not looking that good, Peter. So that's the ES and the NQ. You've got now the two key support levels. Those are the only areas that I see at this stage here to suggest why price could slow down or stop at about where we're at right now. So I hope that helps you out with regard to the ES Mini and the NQ charts. If there was any other piece of information you needed, please write back to me. Let's go to this set of charts out here. Goldilocks, the metals market. The metals market, if we take a look at Goldilocks, you'll see today is going to complete a TD9 count top. It's right now taking on its second or third level of breakdown resistance at 2,440. We're trading right now at 2,580. When we get back to the scrape, we'll finish looking at Goldilocks, silver, the GDX, and you know, as I say in many of the other shows, and much, much more. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60 minute webinar archive he just hosted Forex Strategies and Fundamentals What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30 day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. at the silver chart for the daily time frame chart number three 2349 was its td9 count top we're well above that right now we're trading out at 2382 a close about 2349 negates that signal perhaps a likely uh, signal as well that gold will just simply go ahead and negate its but we can't call that until we actually see it in the case of the gdx out here the gdx has a td9 count top and a close above 3007 today will negate that signal as well if that gets negated, odds favor that gold won't respect its TD9 count top either out there. So that's the levers to watch. 3007 inside of the GDX, 2349 for silver. And uh, gold is going to be today's high, whatever that ends up being out there. So that's what's going on in that marketplace. Let's uh, move over and where do we want to go to next? Let's go take a look at some requests that have come in. We don't have that many. I think we got about four or five. Let's get to those here. Let's get those off the uh, charts. And the first one is going to be Alta Beauty. U-L-T-A is the ticker symbol. This is for Jimmy D inside the Tiger's Den. If we take a look at Alta Beauty, it's what it's waiting for is a bullish reversal candle, Jimmy, to form a Rhodes Mintum Indicator bottom. Uh, you are also going to form bar number seven today of a TD9 count. Now, 
I don't know what today's scandal is going to be. Right now at 11.20, if this was the end of the session, well, then what we would have is we would have a confirmed roads momentum indicator uh, buy point. And if the price can get above that oscillator and change line, which is the resistance level right now, then we'd be off to about 382, maybe 387. So with regard to alt on the daily time frame, you're waiting for a bullish reversal candle. If we take a look at the weekly time frame, price has made its way back to a breakout level of support, 370, 380. If we close below that, the next area would be 341, 40. If we look at the monthly time frame chart, let's populate this a little bit. You can see right now that the monthly chart is signaling to an I and A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. That's a possibility. It's price target because price is trading below the bottom of its profile. The support level, 390.208, we look for the next support level. And the next support level would be at 319.05. That's where on a monthly basis, Ulta Beauty had broken out from. So at this stage of the game, you're back at a key level of support on the weekly. The daily can give that bullish reversal signal. You should see a, at least a bounce, maybe a bottom. It would be more than a bounce if price in Ulta could close above 387.51. And if it did that, then you'd be on your way to 401.29. So, Jimmy, I hope that, that helps you out with the information you were looking for on Ulta. Let's look at your second request, which is Lululemon. L-U-L-U -L -U is a ticker symbol out there. We take a look at Lululemon. Right now, this is pulling back. It's got a wave seven top that I see. And price is pulling back to test a key level of support. What's that key level of support? That's that green oscillator and change line. Green oscillator and change line tells us we have a rising price oscillator above zero. Those are bullish signals. The number of that uh, uh, oscillator and change line is at 390.39. That 39 is kind of thereabouts because that changes. Price moves up and down. But if we get it close below that, Jimmy, that would suggest to you and I that we would see or should see a further retracement. Now, that further retracement could be getting back to the next level of support, which would be down at the, what would it be? Oh, no. There is no next level of support in the daily time frame because we've got new profiles and prices below those profile levels. So then we have to come take a look at the weekly chart. Well, the weekly chart is also sitting at a level of support. It's oscillator and change line. That's printed at 390.48. So we've got two of them in that 390. So here's the call. If you close below 389.06, the top of the weekly profile, Jimmy, then that's going to suggest a move to 369.21. So that's where our real battle is today inside of Lululemon, 389.06. The monthly chart looks pretty good. Monthly chart is in bar number seven. You're trading above profile. Um, you know, you you moved above both the uh, prior week's high and low out there. So it's been quite a, a movement this week. But it still looks pretty good. And you're sitting right now at daily and weekly support. So you've got to watch to see how the market responds today, maybe and or Monday out there. But those are the numbers, at least, to be watching. On a 30-minute time frame, what I can share with you is there's a TD9 count bottom that should, in fact, form by 11.30, seven minutes from now, and then complete by 12 noon. So if there's a rally that's going to uh, start, at least on this, watch the 30-minute uh, time frame chart for Lululemon, whatever the low is by 12 noon, if price starts trading below that, that tells you no bottom in sight for Lululemon other than the support levels that it's dealing with on its daily and weekly time frame. But it's not exactly the signal that you would be looking for. So there's a possibility uh, for Lululemon. Watch that 30-minute time frame chart out there. Let's go to our next request. The next request coming in from Hector and Patty. And Hector and Patty want to take a look at Agnico Eagle. AEM is a ticker symbol. And it's a beautiful looking stock chart right now because you had a TD9 count pattern that formed two days ago, completed yesterday, and a close today above 5045. You're trading right now at 5058. A close above 5045 today negates that pattern. That says also Goldilocks is likely to negate its TD9 count top. Now, the question out here for Hector was, is this a gigantic A to B equals CD to the upside? The A point pretty easy, the TD9 count bottom, which is down here on October 4th. The B point would be the TD9 count top. So the retracement would take us down to the low of yesterday's session out there. And yesterday's session low out there was at 48.82. The retracement from the top of that uh, B point, top of that TD9 pattern, down to that low is only 22.5%. So, Hector and Patty, I've got a requirement. It's really the system has a requirement. In order to generate an A to B equals CD pattern, you really need to make about a 0.382 retracement, not a 22% retracement out there. And not that it can't be an A to B equals CD, but that's not the pattern that I would rely upon to figure out where our price projections are. So you really want to do on the A to B equals CD, that B to C a retracement, uh, whichever way direction you're going in, it really should be a 38.2% uh, retracement. 
or somewhere at least close to that. And 22% is a long way away from a 38% retracement inside of AEM. So I'm going to go with the fact that, no, it's not an A to B equal C to the upside. And we don't really need to know whether it is or it's not because you and I can now project where's the next level of resistance. And that's really what we're trying to find out here. Where are the levels of resistance and support for every instrument, every time frame that we uh, analyze out here? So I'm going to just pull open the daily time frame, try to bring it back, see if there's any other TD9 count breakdown levels. There is. It's way up here at 6019. That's not the price point that I'm going to uh, suggest to you. With the next area of resistance, so it's going to be the swing point from September 20th, the daily time frame, and that's up at 58. 84. They're 50, 56 right now. So if you clear that, then we're off to higher price. So I'm going to come back to the weekly time frame chart to look for its next level of resistance. Turns out that's up at 53.46. That is the more likely outcome, especially if, um, not especially if, we had a close above the center of that weekly profile, bullish structure weekly profile last week. We're well above that this week. Odds favor that price should make a move to the top of that profile. So I'd say a close today about 50.45 clearly brings 53.46 into its sights. Now, I know that Hector wanted me to be able to say, hey, man, that A to B equals CD gets up to 56.05. Hey, 53.46, not too bad. And we didn't have to, you know, finagle the A to B equals CD pattern on the daily time frame. The most important thing today is does Ignico Eagle close about 50.45? That would be very bullish for that stock. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Don't 
forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. Let's see, uh, check on the markets here right now. You've got the uh, Dow down 184, S&P 44, NASDAQ 1028, Russell's down 16. And in fact, that's where we're going to go right now is take a look at the charts here for the Russell 2000. I believe that was John that uh, inside the Tiger's Den that had asked about that. So let me get to first the uh, Russell 2000 charts, the uh, equity future charts out here. So what do we know about it? Well, first on a weekly basis, it's going to negate a TD9 count bottom pattern uh, this week out there. So that suggests lower price. On a monthly basis, there's also a TD9 count bottom. Now, it's too early to call that, but if price did close below 17.1380, we're at 16.94 right now, that will negate that signal. That's at the end of the month. That would then tell us to expect a move towards 14.2580. That's coming from the monthly time frame chart. There's also be an A to B equals CD to the downside pattern that would take us even below that level on a monthly basis. So it's too early to call the monthly, but it's not too early to call the weekly chart out there. So with regard to the Russell 2000, and its next uh, price projection level, I'm going to just do this off screen here. Give me RTY Z23, and I'm going to go ahead and, and put that in on my system just to give us a feel on the weekly time frame for where that price projection would be if I can do that. Um, yeah, I can do that. Stevie, you can do almost anything. Almost anything. So let's go take a look at that A to B equals CD price projection. So the 1 to 1 1.272 is 1715, and we're below that right now. So the next price projection level on the weekly time frame takes you to 1651.70. I, I know you're not seeing it on the screen you're looking at. You're seeing it on my black background screen. I'm not going to go back and forth. I'm just going to give you the number out there. What's the next thing to be paying attention to? Well, first of all, on the uh, weekly time, a uh, daily time frame, this negated its bottom signal. Was it by the D point pattern? It did that yesterday. You're in bar number seven as we speak right now. You're in wave number seven as well, but that needs a higher low. And you've got a Rhodes momentum indicator signal that's present. So this needs a bullish reversal candle to confirm a bottom. Short of that, price is likely to head lower. We look at the intraday charts. 30 minute, no bottom signal. 60 minute, no bottom signal. Uh, 120 minute, it does have a wave seven pattern that is uh, in play out here, but that's going to require a higher low in, in a couple hours. No bottom signal in a 240, and the five-hour chart is negating its TD9 count bottom. So the Russell 2000 is looking like it wants to head lower. When we take a look at this equity future contract, there's no other support levels for it to deal with. Now, let's go take a look at the IWM as well. So we'll pull up those charts, and on the IWM, um, oh, that wasn't it. Give me a moment here. i got to get all the way back. Here's the IWM. Now, on uh, its weekly time frame, just to give you a feel. So I'm looking at the small A to B equals C. So where, when we just take a look at the weekly chart for the IWM, where is it headed? So you can see the negated TD9 count bottom. We can also see the swing low out here that it's trading into. On a weekly basis, that swing low was October 14th. October 14th, that swing low, that's 2022, by the way, that swing low has got volume of 153 million shares out there so far. In the month, we still have more time left. You're at 176. How about that? You are moving into that swing point, weekly swing point with volume. So we're going to close inside there. When you close inside a swing point with volume, odds favor. It increases the probability. It doesn't guarantee anything, but it does really increase that probability that what sellers want to do is go explore that low. And so that low that the Russell 2000, the IWM ETF is showing us is at 162.50. If I take a look at the daily time frame chart, it shows really the same Rose momentum indicator signals. Shows a wave number seven is, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Shows a wave number seven pattern out there. So the, um, and bar number seven of the TD9 count. Uh, so it's really the same thing like we were looking at on the daily contract for the equity future contract. So that's what I've got for you, John, with regard to the Russell and the IWM. If there's something else you need, just go ahead and ping me, and we'll be happy to get that for you. A couple requests in the Tiger's Den. I only saw three, but if I miss, and these are the three I found, ALB, Nike, and Microsoft. If somebody put in something and you requested it, would you please just retype that in? 
Um, and Mr. Bill, I hope you do have sound. I hope I'm not just talking to any, you know, just to myself out there, because that wouldn't be a whole lot of fun. So I do hope uh, that you fixed uh, your, the sound problem out there. That would be a good thing. All right, so we're going to go take a look at uh, LB Morrow out there. Again, ticker symbol is ALB. And ALB, we're just going to review these charts. I don't know what you're looking for necessarily. But right now, what we can see inside of LB Morrow is uh, prices below last month's low, uh, last week's low. Uh, we're trading below yesterday's low. This is looking like it hasn't found a low. So let's try to figure out what it needs to do. Well, right now you've got a road momentum indicator signal that's been triggered. So on a daily basis, a road momentum indicator uh, signal bottom would be confirmed if you saw a bullish reversal candle. Don't see that as we speak right now. That suggests lower price. On a weekly time frame out here. So let's switch over to the other charts. Which I can't tell if that B to C leg out here is about 3.38% move. So here, let's go switch over. We'll take a look at the black background charts. Try to answer that question for us. So let's go take a look at, and there may be even, as I open up this chart, maybe even, yeah, there's even larger A to B equals CDs. So let's take a look at, uh, let's take a look at the one that's really, well, there's two of them that we put in here in place. So let's draw those first in. The first one, it's got the, the, all of them are going to have the same high, and that's the high from November 7, 2022. So the first one's going to have a B point at January 2nd of 2023 and a C point at February 13th. Now, this is the weekly chart we're looking for. So the one-to-one -one level has already been exceeded. The one to 1.272 would get us down to 132.76. So I'd have to say that's the next price target area. Now, was that B point passed with volume? Let's just find out. The B point out here had volume of 7 million shares. When it was passed, it was passed with 10 million shares. So that was your confirmed A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. Now, on a weekly basis here, once price got to the 1 to 1 level, we don't have a bullish reversal candle. So the weekly chart was always looking for a bullish reversal candle to confirm its bottom. We don't have that. 132.76, the next price target below that, 89.17. There's another A to B equals CD pattern. Now, I don't know if uh, B point's been passed with volume or not. We'll go check that out momentarily. But first, we'll draw that in. Same A point, but now the B point becomes, looks like it's the low from April 17th. And the C point out here, that is from July the 10th. That one-to-one -one level there would get us down to 84.71. Now, its B point had volume of 17 million shares. When that was passed, it was passed with 8 million, lighter, 10, 10, Yesterday was 12. Today so far, 14 million shares. So you're going to get a confirm confirmation on today's candle session out there. And this is suggesting a move down to 84.71. So that's what I see when I take a look at LB Morrow. The only thing that would get in the way of making that move would be a bullish reversal candle that would confirm a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. So hope that helps you out, Dan, with regard to LB Morrow. And thank you so much for that request. Your second request was to take a look at Nike. One of your favorite stocks out there, NKE, is the uh, ticker symbol. Let's go back to my white background charts. Give me a moment here. We'll take a look at what Nike is communicating to you and I. I'm just narrating what it's communicating to us. And how am I doing that? Well, I'm doing that by taking a look at uh, support and resistance. And right now we can see prices above resistance. That was a TD9 count breakdown level for its daily time frame. That was at 101.96. So now that it's cleared that, where is it headed to? Well, turns out that yesterday was actually a confirmed sell the D point pattern. What do you mean, Steve-O? Well, let's take a look at the A to B out here. I'm just going to simply draw it in with just my line tool, which will then move over to the C point. So there's your A to B. Now I'm going to move this over to the C point. I'm going to try to do that. So I'm going to try. I'm going to need this break in order to be able to actually do this move. I'll figure it out. We get back to the break. We'll take a look at the A to B equals CD pattern. Looks like a sell the D point, but I could be wrong about that. But we'll find out as soon as we get back from this break. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. 
The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. So that uh, Nike A to B equals CD pattern had a one-to-one -one price projection of 104.54. The high uh, from uh, yesterday was up at the 104.35. That's close enough for my work to complete that sell the D point pattern, and you got that bearish reversal candle. Now, today you got a gift out here, Dano. So you're net short, and what uh, Nike has done, it's created a new bullish structure daily profile. So, which kind of makes sense out here. Um, and now that profile has support at one, I'll tell you why it makes sense. 101.81 to 102.45. That's the buy zone of Nike at the moment. Resistance up at 104.35. So I would anticipate that price is going to pull back into that sell zone. The reason why I say that makes sense. So here's where it gets slightly complicated. When the oscillator and change line changed from red to green or green to red, in this case here it went from red to green, and you complete a pattern, which it did, a sell the D point, odds favor price is going to move back and test that. The real bullish signal would be pulling back to an oscillator and change line that changed color from red to green, because that tells us the red was price oscillator was below zero, the green is above zero and rising right now. And so if price can pull back, right now that's 99.31. You know as well as I do that number is going to change as the day and days progress out here. But if 101.81 fails, then you'd be looking at that green oscillator and change line. Now, the reason why it makes sense that you've got that profile and 101.81 and 102.45 might be the support level is because the chart on the weekly basis is very bullish. There's a buy the D point pattern that formed. Price is now trading above the top of its weekly profile. And that's at 100.49. There ain't nothing bearish about that signal, so it's cleared resistance. If we take a look at the monthly time frame chart, beautiful TD Dyke, TD Dyke out bottom, um, and, uh, and that level, a TD9 cal bottom was tested and rejected last week from a swing uh, last month, I should say. So um, that's and, and it was tested and rejected. Let's see what the volume metrics was. So the, the TD9 count had 200 million and a little bit more than that. And last month 
193. So that's a test of rejection on lighter volume on the monthly chart for Nike. The weekly, trading above the top of its weekly profile, that's bullish. The daily saying, you know what, I've just got a short-term timeout here with that uh, sell the D-point pattern, and I'm likely only going to pull back to 101.81 to 102.45. So I know you're net short, and I want to be able to utilize that new profile. You should utilize that new profile because um, that may come in handy when you take a look at Nike. So I hope that that helps you out. I'm sure that it does. Uh, let's go take a look at the next request out there. That came in from Nancy, who wants to take a look at her favorite stock, or one of her favorite stocks, and that is Microsoft. MSFT is the uh, ticker symbol. So what Microsoft has is what? It still has a TD9 count top that formed out here in the trade day of October the uh, 12th. And right now, price is trading below its green oscillator and change line. That tells us it's lost its momentum. If price closes, Nancy, below 327.59, what price should then do, and it's already kind of doing that, is target the bottom of that profile. And the bottom of that profile is down at 324.66. If price closes below that, then you could be looking at a run all the way to 311.21. So a TD9 count top on the daily time frame. With the weekly time frame running all the way up to its oscillator and change line this week at 335.89 and testing and rejecting that level. Right now, price is uh, potentially going to close below the bottom of its profile. The weekly profile support is at 326.93 out there. Monthly chart, let's not spend too much time on the monthly chart. Uh, nothing out here to really report on that I think is going to impact what we see on the daily and the weekly as we speak. Um, what else can we take a look at? You know, uh, from an intraday standpoint, I don't normally have that, but I apparently I do on this uh, set of charts. I've got a 10-minute chart out here. And on a 10-minute basis, when we take a look at Microsoft. No, that, that can't be it. There we go. Where are we at? When we take a look at the 10-minute chart here for Microsoft, this negated a TD9 count bottom pattern. So you've got a little profile. Maybe it's going to bounce up to the 326, 94, 327, 16 area out there. But even the 10-minute chart is suggesting that Microsoft wants lower price. So, Nancy, I hope that that helps you out with regard to MSFT, and best of luck to you. SNP wrote in and wants to take a look at ticker symbol SE. So let's get over and take a look at uh, that. SE is what? Let me make sure I'm on the right charts. I am. Okay, good. Uh, so SE is uh, C Limited. And C Limited right now is testing a really key level of support. And that is its oscillator and change line. Now, looking to see if there's some kind of topping signal out here. You know, it looks like it hasn't really completed the A to B equals CD pattern. And I don't know that's going to matter really right now for our for our uh, discussion, but let's see if I can grab this one. There we go, move right over here. Yeah, it really didn't complete the A to B equals CD, but nonetheless, price is, oops, sorry about that. Price is testing a very key area of support, that red oscillator and change line and the bottom of his profile. Now the bottom of the profile is at the uh, 4379 level. The oscillator and change line is at 4356. If price closes below 4356 SNP, this is likely going to head lower. In fact, it really should head lower. The question would be where, where's the next level of support? Well, on the daily time frame, I don't have it. So that forces us to go take a look at the weekly time frame. And on the weekly time frame, the level of support would be 4030. So we close below that daily oscillator and change line. I'd say 4031 or so would be in its sights out there. We close below that, 3809. So that's what I see when I take a look at the charts here for SE. That is C Limited. Watch that uh, 40, what did I say it was? 4379-ish uh, type level out there. And you close below that, this is likely headed lower. So I hope that helps you out with regard to that uh, trade. Let's go take a look at ASC. I believe that is for Coda in the Tiger's Den. That's just going from memory. I should have written it down, and I forgot to. But nonetheless, ASC is Artemore Shipping Corporation. And Artemore Shipping Corporation is testing a key level of support. That key level of support happens to be that green oscillator and change line. Now, I don't see – this is populated too, right? I don't see a topping pattern that sticks out at me when I take a look at the daily time frame chart up here. I don't see that. What I do see, though, is price testing a key level of support. That's at 1309. You're trading really at 1311, even though it says on my screen 1306. If price closes below 1309 today, then what you're likely to see is price to go target the bottom of its next support area. And the next support area would be 1274. If I look at the weekly time frame chart, looks like a good old fashioned sideways consolidation. What do you mean, Stevie? Well, let's open up the chart. We open up the chart. This is going to be an easy one to draw in here. Let's just move this over just a tad. Let's get our rectangular tool out here. Let's pull that open. And here we take a look at. Um, 
I don't want to do it. We'll do it about right, about right here. Let's make this the consolidation pattern, the top. Oh, wow, that's an interesting tool. Steve does use that tool, and that was really not my intent. Uh, but uh, my, the tool I planned on using was the rectangular tool. There we go. So there's our rectangular box tool, and there's your consolidation. And uh, so right now, a key level on ASC for the weekly time frame is that oscillator and change line. If you close below it, which is at 1304, likely you're going to head back to the uh, center of its profile, which is at 1265. And you close below that, you get all the way back to the bottom of that consolidation pattern. So on the weekly basis, good old-fashioned consolidation. On a daily basis, price testing key levels of support that would suggest a move at least down to the 1274 area out there. So that's what I see when I take a look at ASC. That was for Coda inside the tiger's den now code i also know you wanted to take a look at natural gas out here so let's get the uh, december contract up at least for the daily weekly and monthly time frames uh monthly is not going to really show us much and then uh, during the break i'll try to pull open i will pull open the other equity future the other uh, natural gas future contract out here but here we take a look at december it's trading into the swing point from october 3rd and they close today below 3.327 should lead to a run to 3.216. Steve Rhodes with TFN. We'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors you might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So we take a look at uh, natural gas in December contract, which formed a TD9 count bottom last month. That says it closed below 3.240 will negate that signal at month's end. The weekly chart formed a buy the D point pattern two weeks ago. That says it closed below 3.216 would negate that signal out there. So you want to watch that. On the daily time frame, daily time frame, no bottom signal. You're only in bar number seven right now. Price is inside that swing point from October 3rd, just like we talked about earlier. 3.216 is the likely destination. On a 30-minute basis, roads meant to indicator signal, consolidation with inside the profile. 3.252 at support, 3.289 is resistance. No other bottom signals on the 60-minute, nor the two, uh, 120. The 240 does have a TD9 count bottom that is going to complete as we get into the 2 p.m. time frame. That then should take price up to its oscillator change line, currently printed at about three dollars and thirty-two cents. No bottom signal on the uh, five-hour time frame chart. So that's the natural gas update out there. With a minute to go, let's go back and just simply take a look at. Let's change my screen out here. Let's go back to my market update screen. Just to give us a a good view overview of what's going on in many markets out there. So, for example, in the upper left-hand side, ES Mini. We know that the ES Mini uh, was targeting the profile level was at 42.55, I believe, and so far that has held. If we take a look at the uh, NQ, it has also held the key levels port, the bottom of its profile. That's at the 14.677 level. U.S. dollar index isn't doing a whole lot; it's just really trading sideways, not doing much, so it's not having an impact on the market. The uh, gold contract completes its TD9 count top today. Silver is negating its TD9 count top from two days ago, and it will negate it with a close above 23.49. Light 3 crude wants to target 91 and a quarter. Natural gas we talked about wanting to get back to 321. And that 30-year treasury, look out, folks. China's a seller. There'll be a seller today, seller tomorrow, and there'll be a seller until we have war with them. Folks, have a fantastic Friday, fabulous weekend. I'll look forward to seeing you on Marvelous Magnificent Monday. Be safe out there.